Hi, this is Janet from Try It, Like It, Create It, and today we're going to be folding stars from these strips of paper. Now, we bought this paper pack, um, and it came with a variety of colors here, um, but you don't have to use bought paper. You can cut your own from solid or um, copy paper or scrapbook paper. It all works just the same. So, to begin, what we're going to do is just tie a knot at the end of the paper. So I'm going to flip it over so you're making kind of a loop and then we stick the end through. Now you don't want too much of an end sticking out and you want to manipulate this until you get down to what looks like a hexagon shape. Okay, And once you have that you can push it a little bit more flat. Now you see you have this pocket right here and this piece of paper. So what we're going to do is fold it over and tuck it under. And that is our hexagon shape for the star. But then we have this tail left over here. So we're just going to keep wrapping around and just let it fall where it wants to. If you see it, it, it goes towards the side and you just keep wrapping. And when your folds are going to be a little bit at an angle. But you just lightly wrap. Don't press too tight on the piece and then just keep going around and until you get to the end of your paper. Now you could make this out of any kind of thickness of, or width of strip. Um, like I said, we bought these and this is the size that it came. So we're down to the, the tail and once again, just like the beginning with our knot, we have a little pocket here and we have a tail. So we're gonna stick the tail into that pocket. If you have excess, don't worry about it. You can tear off the end and hide it, hide the torn end underneath that little pocket. So now we have this hexagon shape that um, isn't very tightly flattened. So then what we're gonna do is on the sides, you're gonna pinch the points of the hexagon to make the stars. So um, I use my fingernails, um, but if you don't have fingernails, you can just pinch at the paper points and you just keep manipulating it until you like the shape that you have to make a star. And there it is. And that's how easy it is. And then you can make multiples of them for your 4th of July decorating.